What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and thank you for hanging out with me today. Today I'm going to be going over my rifle platform that I'm going to be using for the 2022-2023 Coyote Night Season here in Maine. Before I get into that, I just want to give a huge shout out to Logan at Fall River Shooters. Logan is a wealth of knowledge. He can help you guys make decisions whether you need a certain magnification for your thermals, which resolution thermal, uh, or even just an everyday glass optic. Guys, if you're looking for high, high clarity and good quality glass, Logan's got you there as well. Okay. So onto the rifle platform. This is a Specialized Dynamics rifle, AR-15 platform chambered in 6.5 Grendel. Now 6.5 Grendel is quite a bit different than what I was shooting the last few years, which was a 223. It has much better ballistics and it can perform quite a bit better out to about three to 400 yards as opposed to the 223, which has a lot less knockdown power at that yardage. And so I chose to go the 6.5 Grendel simply because it has more knockdown power for coyotes and it also can reach out a little bit further and maintain that knockdown power. Now I'm not bashing the 223 round at all. It's an excellent predator hunting cartridge and I would still use it, no questions asked, if I didn't have this rifle platform. So this rifle, as I mentioned, mentioned it's a Specialized Dynamics rifle built by Scott Milkovich at Specialized Dynamics. Scott's got years and years and years of experience behind these rifles and uh, building really, really high performance precision barrels. And so that's kind of why I chose Scott to, to build my rifle. I've built a lot of ARs over the years, but um, there was something to be said about the performance that they're achieving out of these Specialized Dynamics rifles, and so I kind of sprung for one. This rifle has a Velocity 3.5 pound trigger in this, uh, a very, very lightweight trigger. It's going to serve me really well in the field while hunting off of a tripod, shooting at coyotes. It's got just a regular Magpul stock, nothing fancy there, an Ergo grip, which is extremely comfortable in my hand. And I'm really glad Scott made the decision to put that grip on this rifle. I've never used one before. I had this rifle and I'm really, really glad that I got the chance to use it. I think I'm going to be switching out all my AR grips to these Ergo grips. They have a palm swell that just fill, fills my hand really well, feels, feels very natural and comfortable. And so I think I'm going to be making that change. This rifle also features fully ambidextrous controls because I am one of those weirdos. <laughs> I'm a lefty. So uh, I asked Scott to please make sure this was a fully ambidextrous rifle and he took care of me there. The only thing that obviously isn't ambidextrous and you guys can see that is it's got a, it's, it's got a right-handed ejection port, which is fine. I've been shooting right-handed ARs for years and uh, the ejection port doesn't bother me. I've never gotten brass thrown at me at my face or anything like that. So really no, no concerns there. I'm not worried about that. On to the cream of the crop now, guys. I was gonna save this for last, but I just can't help myself. I'm so excited to have the new Pulsar Thermion Pro 2 XQ50 LRF. Now that is a mouthful. <laughs> Pulsar is known for having extremely long names, but you know what? Pulsar is also known for very, very high quality thermal optics, and that's exactly what this scope is. This thing is absolutely crystal clear. I am so excited to have it on top of my rifle for this season. Now I'm not gonna do a full review on this right now, and mostly that's because um, I don't have enough time behind this scope or this rifle platform to do a full review. Mostly just giving you guys, the followers of my channel, an update as to what I'm gonna be running this season. And so that is that. Scope is mounted to a set of 30 millimeter Athlon rings. That is a one piece cantilever mount. It is not quick disconnect. I'm not gonna bash quick disconnect because I really love it. However, <clears throat> this is just a, a straight up screw onto your rifle rail and go. I would love quick disconnect, don't get me wrong. The mounts are really, really pricey. I believe a, Q, a QD mount for this scope that I would feel comfortable putting on the rifle with proper return to zero functionality would run me upwards of 200 to $250 and it's just not a, uh, a spend that I was kind of wanting to make at the time of purchasing this. So I've got a, a direct thread cantilever mount by Athlon and I've got a lot of confidence that it's gonna perform well. Now, the other thing is, is I don't plan to take the scope off this rifle this season. Um, it's gonna stay on this rifle. I'm not gonna be taking it off and putting it on another rifle. And so therefore, quick disconnect really wasn't something I needed anyway. Okay, so now to get the elephant out of the room, you guys are probably all wondering, uh, what is this on the side of your rifle rail? I really wanna talk about this for a few minutes, guys, because I think it deserves it. Um, and I don't think many guys have talked about it in the industry enough. So this is called the Easy Squeak, and this is a call uh, made by Kyle's Custom Calls, and I'm gonna link his website in the description below as well. But you can talk to Kyle directly on Facebook at, with Kyle's Custom Calls. And uh, basically, this is a super ingenious design. 
Um, and, and Kyle put a lot of time and thought behind it, but essentially what it is is a lot of guys in the industry will take a dog squeaker toy, like uh, the plastic squeaker out of a dog toy. They'll cut it out of a dog toy and it gives you essentially a little air diaphragm that when you squeeze it will squeak. And it works excellent for coaxing in coyotes or predators. Now, what a lot of guys will do is they'll put them in the front pouch of their chest rigs or they'll just put them like, you know, in their pocket or somewhere and they'll just squeeze them a couple times and, and to start coaxing in their predator. Now, that's great and that's cheap and works works well, but the downside to that is sometimes you have to get off your rifle or you know you can't do both hands free and you can't be running both hands. Now, what's really cool about this is, this is obviously not the tripod that I hunt from. This is just for displaying the rifle for you guys today, but a lot of what I oftentimes what I'll do is I'll have the rifle on the tripod kind of like this, I will essentially run my hand uh, along the ball head that I have on my tripod, and that puts my thumb naturally right on this, this bulb here, which when you depress it, gives a squeaking sound. And so this thing is sweet. I, I'm, I'm essentially hands-free or all hands on deck on my rifle platform, and I don't have to worry about uh, this call. It's just there and it's convenient. So Easy Squeak is a perfect name for this call. Um, I think Kyle did an excellent job with this. Now, I'm going to squeak it a few times so you guys can hear it. Um, it's really, really cool. It's, it's, it's just a great idea, guys. It's Picatinny rail mounted. So if you have a section of Picatinny rail on your rail, you can direct mount it. I had to add a small three section of Picatinny rail because this, this, this rail on my rifle or this handguard didn't have any side rail pieces. And uh, I really wanted it on that side for the exact reason that I just showed you guys. So I'm going to squeak it a few times and see what you guys think. Now it's easy as that guys, you just squeak that ball a few times and it works so well. And I think for what I paid for this, which I think was around 25 or $30 shipped to my home, just a really awesome thing to have. I mean, I can't understand why if you're out night hunting for predators, why you wouldn't mount one of these here rifles. I really can't. Kyle offers a, um, a Velcro option that Velcros to either your, your tripod, you could Velcro it to maybe your ball head, you could Velcro it to your rifle stock, just lots of options, super versatile little thing. And I gotta tell you, I think it's gonna be a cool thing to have this season. Um, I didn't run it on my rifle last season, uh, but this season I'm gonna have it and I, I can't wait to try it on some coyotes and see what their reaction is. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I wanted this to be just a quick update for some of you that follow the channel closely um, as to what I'm gonna be running in the field this year for my rifle. I get a lot of questions about you know, what caliber I'm shooting or what rifle I'm shooting and, and the decisions that I made uh, for that. So hopefully this will answer some of those questions. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is this camo. This is a custom camo paint job done by myself. It's done with a sponge and some spray paint. And uh, guys, I gotta tell you, it is so easy. It doesn't take any time and um, you end up with a really cool result. And so I've had a lot of great comments. People have been like, man, that, that rifle camo pattern looks awesome and it's so easy. So I have a video on my channel, guys. I'll link it below how to do this. It's, it's like effortless. I mean, it is so effortless to do this to your rifle. It's gonna have some wear marks. I understand that it is spray paint. So it is gonna start wearing off in spots, but in my opinion, that gives the rifle character and it shows how I use it. It, it tells a story and, um, and after all, this is a tool that's gonna get used and it's gonna get used hard and heavily out in the field. And so those wear marks are gonna tell a story and I'm really excited to, uh, to put some on it this season. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or you need help with something, please drop a comment below. I, I am more than happy to help anybody that puts a comment down. Um, if you have a question or uh, any sort of feedback or anything like that for the channel, guys, drop it down below. Um, it means a lot to me to hear from you guys and uh, to get some engagement from my community. So until next time on On The Hunt, guys, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.